guy slept in Walmart last night. Got my rig back there. But I saw a guy, man, talking to him. Um, he's homeless, disabled. And uh, why don't you tell a story? I'm going to introduce you. Tribune Day Labor Program. And we was putting 80 pound bags of cement in brown culverts, and I stepped the wrong way and lost all feeling from the waist down. You so see, you got what they would say paralyzed from the waist down. Yeah. So you're, that's why you're in this like wheelchair type thing. Yeah. Yeah, he's in a wheelchair, homeless. I just. How long ago did that happen? Oh, uh, it was in 2001. So I was paralyzed for eight years. You've been paralyzed eight years. And I fought back every day and got to walk, push myself to walk. Oh, man. And and you told me you're sleeping. You sleep, sleeping at the bus stop. You just sleep under the bus stop because it's got a canopy? Yeah, a little bit of one. Not much of one, but a little bit of one. Yeah, it's got a little canopy. So he just parks there. He's got this. He's got a little sleeping pad. That's pad right there and it's waterproof on the bottom so i can lay down but wet well that's that's a nice pad man that's a good that's a smart thing man i really think that's pretty memory cool. foam oh, memory little, foam in it little memory foam thing man so there's some other people passing by man they just pat keep on walking man keep on driving man 99 percent of them will keep on they'll just pass you by yeah, I usually wave at everybody. <laughs> yeah, don't That's pretty me. good. So here's one of my new friends, Andy, man. Nine years disabled, nine years paralyzed from the waist down, living homeless in a wheelchair, sleeping wherever he can. And you know who's going to hurt this? Hurt him is probably Ron DeSantis' new law. That's going to make it illegal for him to even ride his, via, his wheelchair on the pavement man unbelievable so that won't ever happen well you don't think it'll happen uh they did it in the law but you don't think the cops will support it i'm not sure they will either I, and desantis thought that out and he said he's going to find any city that doesn't enforce the laws but i think there's going to be a big backlash yeah, yeah. um i'm starting an organization i'm going down to talk to desantis i'm going to tell him you know well, I'm not going to tell them what I think of them, but I'm going to tell them what I think of that law, man. You know, it's like really, uh, all it does is hurt the homeless, right? Well, what it's doing, for years they said this is home of the free and all that. Now they're trying to get more communist in this town than anything else. Yeah. Tell you, when you where you can sleep and what you can't do, that's communism right there. Well, I, I believe it is too. There's a noisy car coming. I believe it's communism, but I also believe they're taking away. Oh. We got to deal with that all the time, man. That way, when I'm sleeping, I these guys wake me up. But um, they don't bother me. No. Uh, <laughs> there's somebody right there waiting for the light to turn, uh, the traffic to go. So they can go. Uh, what were you saying, man? Um, oh, yeah, the Constitution. We have constitutional rights, and they're taking away those rights. Yeah. They're actually, this is like Nazi Germany, in a sense, or any of those dictators like Stalin, Mao. What they're doing is they're going to herd up. They're going to grab all the homeless people, round them up, and throw them into like a... Concentration camp. Well, that's a good word for it. Concentration camp. Yeah, it is, man. So I'm going to be fighting that law. Because that, to me, is unconstitutional. It violates every right imaginable. And he's, I believe they're lying. Because it's, what they should do first is get the... If they do have nice facilities where homeless people can live okay. and sleep... you talking like that. we got a mall right out here at the edge of town. It's empty. It's empty. Open. Bring people in to fix it. Yep. I actually have a friend, Larry, man. He's a real estate guy he actually was thinking of doing that open going through them all renting either renting space i thought about buying it with a group of people i know that uh that owned shopping centers but yeah it's it's a fact man we got all kinds of stuff churches that are empty churches that parking lots are empty churches buildings are empty you know 
So it's really, really sucks, man. Really, really sucks. So Andy's really, you know, he's not even complaining, man. He, I don't. Why? He's 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 got to make a, the best of every day. Yeah, he's doing he's doing he's making the best he can, and, and he's got a system. Homeless people, I found, are very, very innovative, man. They're very smart, and they find a way to survive, man. And they're not complaining. They're getting along. But instead of society helping them, society dumps on them, man. And that's what I'm really trying to fight. Get some awareness, man, of what they're facing and how you can do little things that can help them, man. Yeah. All right, this is Paul Barrett for Homeless in America, man. Making an experience. A documentary, man, exposing all the stuff that goes on politically, nonprofits, while they're, they claim to help the homeless people, man, but they're not. You know, they're all homeless people are stuck on their own, man. Yeah. All right, brother. It's nice talking to you, man. Oh. <laughs> Take care of yourself. You too, man.